Now, another great model, this is a uh, this is a crowd favorite, the Mayer Multiple, the trusty Mayer Multiple, which is just a fancy word for a ratio between price and the 200-day moving average. Um, yes, it's just the 200-day moving average, but why does this matter? Well, the 200-day moving average is important because every trader under the sun knows what it is. And many of them, from capital allocators all the way through to day traders, treats it as a bull bear bias. It's kind of one of these models that because so many people look at it, it reacts because people look at the 200 day and they say, well, I want to see the reaction at the 200 day. So when something happens at the 200 day, you know, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, what's quite interesting is that where we currently are, we haven't actually got anywhere close to this level, about 1.5. Uh, I'm actually just going to show you how I would stick a new trace here. I want to look at a model about 1.5, which is where um, we tend to find a bit of resistance. Um, for this particular model. Now, importantly, all of these oscillators, you can see here these oscillator levels. Um, I'm going to go to the Mayer multiple. This one here is currently located on Y4. Now, when I add a new formula, it's going to assign itself to a brand new Y axis. I want to immediately change that across to Y4. I'm going to make this particular line purple because I want it to stand out. And I'm going to set this up at 1.5 and evaluate. So what you're going to see is a purple line is now going to appear on our Mayer multiple. Now, why did I pick 1.5? Because historically, this means we're trading at a 50% premium to the 200-day moving average. And during uptrends, we often find some level of resistance at this point, right? 50% premium to the 200-day. Think about all those traders who maybe bought the 200-day moving average and they're now at a 50% profit. These aren't too bad, right? These are numbers where people start to take some kind of action. Now, we are currently poking our head up against it, and we actually found resistance on this level again. Now, you'll also notice this is obviously just one. This is just eyeballing in numbers, right? But you'll often see, and we've got a paper called Mastering MVRV, where we do the same exercise, but for the MVRV ratio, one of these on-chain models, and we put a little bit more rigor to it, right? Let's actually find a statistically meaningful level. You can obviously then derive pricing models from this as well to try and look for where those areas of, you know, likely intersection are. But really, this tells us that we've bumped our head as we kind of rallied up to 44 and then sold back off. It hit the level where lots of investors like to take profit. And this is the concept we're going to explore in the short-term holder front in, uh, in short course.